Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Matt and Sarah's world. Oh, I'm gonna take you away. It's gonna be a big, big fat weed in the front garden. Welcome to my new office. Oh no! I've already done that silly thing once before, haven't I? I my new office. It has a porch. Um, I don't know if I can put anything on the porch um, from what I have at the moment. I probably can if I buy the DLC uh, for the garden, but we'll look at that in a bit. Um, so I haven't changed the door yet and I haven't painted the outside, um, but I have renovated the house. It was the connoisseur's house, apparently. I don't know if I can change. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. Um, I don't know if I can change the name in the corner to new office or not. I might have a fiddle with that later. Um, so, this is the hall, which, unless I smash a few walls out, didn't can't really do much with, and I didn't really feel like smashing anything last night. Um, when I was having a play. Ah, that's very loud and I didn't even know I could do that. I won't open that again because that's very loud. Um, yes, I haven't got the doors a hundred percent um all over. Um so and I'm, I need to sell the doors, buy new doors to put doors in because apparently I can't just move the doors which is annoying but never mind never mind so we're gonna close that door the front door and the back door are still the same doors because they're not actually that bad they're a bit scratched and a bit but they're not that bad and I, found, I figured I wouldn't spend the money um, we have an office I made a proper little office um, lights, yay. Um, this is quite funky. Um, it was freaking me out that it was empty because you probably, um, I probably noticed as I've been playing along that the furniture's all empty. Well, you can actually put things on the furniture. Don't ask me why, but it was freaking me the hell out that there was nothing on the furniture. So I can put things in there, yay! So I put just boxes of random stuff in there just so that it doesn't look empty. Um, obviously, though, this is the office. It's got a nice big fairy picture. I love that picture. That's very nice game developers, that one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice big rug, a couple of comfy seats for visitors. If not that, you know, not that he's going to get any visitors, but you know, it's just. Me being me, thinking of every little detail. Um, I haven't put anything on the windows in here because it's an office, it's meant to, uh, so it's supposed to be professional. Um, she says with a big fairy picture on the wall. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Um, and then we go across the hall, close the door, um, to a little bedroom. And it is a little bedroom, like, the bed literally just fits there. Um, I could also put the bed over here, but I don't think I'd have got much else in. Um, so, wardrobe, lights. I left the original grey light in because it actually matched with the base of the lamp and I figured I'd save myself some money. And curtains, these ones in here actually fit okay, which is good, but um, I changed the floor as well, I don't know if you remember, uh, did I show you this one, I'm not sure if I showed you this one when I first bought it, it was a really dark brown and I didn't like it so I changed it to light oak, was it like light pine, I don't know, something along those lines, um, so the bedroom, so like I said, the curtains actually fit in that one, um, if we go in here, this I have turned into the lounge and curtains don't fit. The curtains don't fit properly. 
Uh, they do that side. They don't this side. I got two different sets of curtains. I got long and short. Oh, bum. We're going to have to undo that. Hang on. That might be why it don't fit. So, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That might explain it. Uh, doors and windows. That one don't fit there. don't fit there. So that is literally the only one that fits there. That's why that one's in there then. Really easy to put the blinds on. Curtains on. Okay. So... Can I swap you to the short ones? So, yeah. Yeah, one, one long and one short. And again, see, so they don't really fit properly. They're a bit short on one side, but none of the others fit on this window, as we have just found out. So, man. Anyway. Uh, this isn't where we came. Well, we came in to show you the curtains. Um, so yeah, the lounge, as you can see, um, put a few. I like the fact that you can actually throw a few personal bits out and make it not so bland. I mean, I'd like to be able to put something on the top of here and the same in the other room, but apparently I can't. Nothing fits. Um, bathroom. We've gone a little bit up market with the bathroom different sink that's the only shower that would fit um, and I had to move the light switch because that was behind the shower and I just, you can't turn it on when it's behind the shower um, so yeah bathroom laundry basket it's nice that it actually has the little um, personal touches that you can do um, have a kitchen Um, we do the kitchen. Open the door. There's one slight problem with my kitchen. It, it's a bit glitchy. Oh, never mind. Um, so this is the kitchen. Nice big kitchen diner. Um, showed Matt last night and he laughed because of the size of the kitchen and I'm like, compared to the if you're in, but I'm like, yeah, but it's a kitchen Um, so, again, I like the little personal tweaks, because, like, pictures, I mean, they're a little bit out, I did try to get them in line, but, yeah, I'd be there, I was going to be there all day. Um, coffee maker, yeah. Um, out here, there's a little veranda area, which is the reason I put the kitchen where I put it, because... When I get the garden part of the game, I'm going to make a little seating area out here and it seemed daft having the kitchen at the front of the house with a seating area at the back. I had to walk all the way through the office or something to go to the seating area. So, um, so that is the new house, the new office, quite nice. 
um, on some br really bright colours in some of the rooms and subtles in others. Um, as I do like how you can personalise. I mean, it's so you know, there's lots of different things you can actually throw on there to personalise. It's amazing how many things there are. Um, but for now, we said I said <sighs> scary thought we were going to go back and sell this house and see what we got for it. So, um, house price. Does it say how much I brought the house for? Um, it doesn't currently say, so I'll find that out at the end. So go to the house. I have been back in the house to have a little bit of a look and see what happens when you go back in. It's exactly the same as when we brought that house, did it up and sold it. You get pe the people on the left hand side. The only difference is they are not screaming at me as much because I'm not doing any work. So, um, we have, I have done a couple of alterations because they were screaming um, for a couple of things. One of them wants flowers, um, one of them wants shelving, one of them wanted bookcases, and so one of them wanted pictures. So yeah, we've done all of that bit. So I've done all of that and got all of that ready. So, um, I don't think there's anything left to do on this house. I mean, one of them wants a TV in the bedroom. There isn't anywhere to put a TV unless I put it on the back wall underneath the heart. And I, you can't watch TV from there. One of them's complaining about not having a sofa and all of this. So, um, this house is tiny. It's never going to be perfect for anybody. I don't think. So let's see. You brought the house for £28,150.68. So it hasn't, so it hasn't actually been increasing in value. You don't, I, I was looking at it to see if it increased in value as it went along and I thought it had uh, increased by 150 if you remember from the last video. Apparently it hasn't. Um, it doesn't, it must only show on auction, so let's put it on auction. Okay. Okay, we, okay. So we have an offer of 34,000. Now, we haven't ever negotiated before so and the whole point of this is to figure out what happens in an auction so you guys see it I'm not going to refuse the offer because I do want to sell it because I need the money but I'm going to see if we can negotiate Five. Say that. Four and a half. Yeah, um, so
Okay. He took it. So nearly 35. Okay. Positive opinions. Two rooms are okay, but we prefer three. What a shame there's no living room in the house. The whole house is clean, really nice. How is that a negative opinion? Okay. So you can negotiate the price, and he was okay with that. So now I have a balance of 50,000. Yay, I made some money. That means I can buy another house. I really should do some work though. Really, you know. But then again, why should I do some work on somebody else's house when I'm actually making lots and lots of money by selling my own houses, which is cool. Okay, let's go and just do a job. Because okay. I do have a lot of jobs on the books and we can't keep surviving on. Um, we could, could keep surviving. Right, let's have a look at the bathroom and home workshop. Uh, standing up to the moment is early to be build it. My husband needs a tall room and I dream on our next bathroom even though our house is not small. There was only one bathroom in it. Um, please remove all items from grandma's room. Build a wall dividing it into two rooms. The exact the existing bathroom is exactly above grandma's room so you should be able to mount everything in the new bathroom. Um, I would like this bathroom to be elegant and functional. Choose bright tiles and cover all walls. Okay, but I haven't done breaking down walls with you guys yet. This could be, this will give me the option to show you that as well. <coughs> this frog in my throat needs to go. Why do you have street pollards? On your garden. Like, wait. Oh, um, no. Nope, not gonna, not gonna go there. Don't, don't insult the people. Don't insult the people. Don't insult the people. Don't insult the people. Not insult the people. Right, where am I going? In here. Okay. I like jobs like this. There's no cleaning. Ah! There's no cleaning. Right, so what am I going to do? Remove objects. Uh, okay, I'm literally... Are you literally giving me permission to sell all of your shit? Bye. Yeah, I feel like a thief. Um, I hope I'm giving you the money for this or just deducting it off of your bill because otherwise I'm thieving all your stuff. Um. Are you okay with this, guys? I'm, I am literally stealing, like, mementos and things and okay hang on we're not playing thief it simulator that's immoral well where's the floor lamp over there see you allow me to do that so apparently the clock has to stay. Uh, apparently the clock has to stay. Okay. I have no idea why the clock has to stay and everything else can go, but the clock has to stay. Okay. So.
Okay, I don't need to do any work on this side. So, meh. It's this bit I need to do work on. Uh, excuse me. I wasn't trying to place the wall in the middle of the room. Trying to place the wall next to the other wall. But it glitched. Stop glitching out on me and shouting at me. I'm not trying to put it there. I'm trying to put it there. And there. Devices. Washer, bathtub. Where do I put a bathtub? I've never put a bathtub in before. Shower. Sink. Washer. Bathtub. Ooh, interesting. I can put a bathtub in. I've seen all the bathtubs, but I didn't. I never actually had the opportunity to put one in. Who? done this before what do I click now show me And I had to do the same. Well, unless I press, see, unless I press the wrong button, because I do that occasionally. I do that a lot. Come on. Me. Me. Ah! Press the wrong button. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it screw! get this one wrong. I don't know why I always get this one wrong. So there, that's in. Uh, washer. Okay. Ah, washer. I don't get much choice on that one. It's just that. I don't even get a colour choice. Oh, what boo. I forgot to do that bit. Uh, don't break the wall. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thankfully, I managed to stop him mid swing. That would have been interesting. I'd have to put the wall back. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean. I'm not intending to break your house. See? Ah, wrong button.
excuse me? You're just telling me no on everything. Ah. I grabbed the wrong part of the tube. See, I did grab the tube. I thought it was the tube, but... I grabbed the wrong part of the tube. <sighs> ah, no, it's this, isn't it? That way. I've only mounted one, maybe two of these. Oh, that's my excuse. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. Well, not my excuse was on the sink, because I'm always mounting the sinks, but... Ah. Uh, shower. She wants a modern place. We do a corner shower. Make it a bit more modern. Okay, there's the shower. Uh, we need a toilet. Okay. Okay, so you want a round rug and a toilet paper holder. Okay. Okay, go, okay. It has an itchy nose if you want an itchy nose. Uh, floor. Rugs. Toilet roll holder. Apparently, I can finish this job. Apparently, I can already finish this job. I think the toilet roll holders were in the bathroom, weren't they? They're, they are actually in the bathroom. Um, she wants modern and functional, so. Okay, she doesn't want that one. Okay, she doesn't want that one. Which one do you want? Go into the tasks. Find the one she wants. Put the right one in. Apparently I managed to find the right rug then because I was just doing it off my own back and I forgot. Um, right, so that's the bathroom. The bathroom. Oh, so I'm not painting the bathroom. I'm not painting the bathroom. Okay. I thought I was painting. Decorated, but okay. I, I really should have remembered that I can just go into tasks and click what they want and just do that. No, go away because that actually makes life so much easier than hunting for what they want.
job. What kind of happen with jobs like this? Because this job was easy. This was just put a wall back together and then ship some furniture in it. Cool. Job's complete. Yay! I like jobs like that. That was so easy. Can I have more like that, please? Fabulous. Okay. New skill point. Oh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, increased chance of successful negotiation. <laughs> negotiations. Quick jobs. 50% extra payment for the job. We'll upgrade that one. See, I don't usually quit on a job. Usually. Um, so I'm not that fussed about this one. Um, I would like more of these. Um, 144 elements, 144 cleaned elements or trash disposed and I get more for the clean. On this one I need to paint 46 walls. I'm almost, oh is this my percentage bar? Okay, okay we have a percentage bar, I didn't know that, that's cool. Nowhere there for that. Uh, okay, I'm getting there with that one. 10 destroyed elements, well I haven't destroyed hardly anything. Um, after 15 walls built, okay. Okay, so the, 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 there's a few that I'm actually quite close to upgrading to. I like the idea of the use less paint because I don't know if you noticed when I did up my house the house to sell, my house, the one that was going to be my house. That, and when I did the one up to sell, I needed like a quarter of a tub, of a second tub, which is really annoying. So I want that 20% less paint usage, and then I'll only use one tub. Right, on that rant, um, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I don't know if I'll be doing any more. Um, on this because it's very much much now um until i get the garden with garden dlc which when i do i may jump back in and do some more on that um but apart from that um i don't know if you want to see more let me know and i'll make you know i'll make more but i think you have seen everything that is to see apart from me smashing walls down um so thank you very much for watching remember to like subscribe and hit the bell icon um and we will see you in another video either me or matt will pop up at some point bye